Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, we've got a like a video of child abuse right here, and I want to really stress the word child abuse because this shit happens a lot. Is starting a lot of parents are starting to feed their kids this bullshit, and the stressing thing is this is very similar to religion. Like, I was brought up in a, in a Christian family and. Uh, I, I still to this day, my family still, you know, strongly believes in this shit, but it, 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 I believe it was a, it was like a form of child abuse in the sense that I was, uh, I was only exposed to one thing. I wasn't exposed to atheism and skepticism regarding religion. And, um, you know, that leads to your childhood. You, you're constantly, uh, you're constantly, going down this uh, misleading path of thinking where you're not thinking properly and you're not open-minded about things. Now, it's the same thing with this whole uh, feed, v uh, feeding your child vegan, a vegan diet from, uh, w from when, they're, when they're born. Uh, and it's just like, it's plain child abuse when you think about it. These kids, uh, there's nothing inherently wrong with feeding these kids animals product animal products at least until they're five six years old like just to be safe there's been a lot of cases of uh, parents feeding their kids um a vegan diet raw vegan diet and these kids would not develop properly it's really fucked up and i want to point out this um video over here uh, it's really fucked up now she's uh, some raw raw vegan YouTuber. This video is from 2017, so hopefully she's still not a raw vegan and she's moved on. However, let's just see what they eat because it is there's definitely no fats or or, or proper nutrients in there. And I'm surprised her kids are still alive to be honest. Now onto the fun stuff. Let's go and have a look at what my babies ate today. This is really fucked up. For breakfast, they're having chia pudding. So the night before... So chia, chia seeds are really high in anti-nutrients and they are extremely high in fiber. I remember when I was vegan and vegetarian, I was eating a shit ton of chia, chia seeds and I would shit non-stop from those. Before, I blended one and a half cups of coconut milk with about a third of a cup of Thrive Market chia seeds and two tablespoons of maple syrup. I used canned coconut milk and it ended up being quite thick, so you definitely want to probably use carton coconut milk because I think that will work much better. Then you want to store it in the fridge overnight. In the morning, we made some Nana ice cream to go with the chia pudding. So the blender's out. Um, and we did this by blending frozen bananas and dates together until super creamy. This is so easy and it is a tasty, almost dessert-like treat. Um, that is super healthy to even have for breakfast. It's a dessert like treat exactly because of all the sugar you shouldn't It's super happy to have for breakfast How is it healthy to have for breakfast when your blood blood levels spike up right after you eat that shit? That's fucked man So yeah, just getting these kids addicted to carbs addicted to sugars from a young age There is no, uh, the other thing is there is no, no proper nutrients in there. Like, no iron, no nothing. I mean, and just like we all know if you've been on a vegan diet or, or vegans have said as well, you're constantly hungry. Like, you could have a massive smoothie like this and 20 minutes later you want to eat something else. It's not really a breakfast. So yeah, giving your kids basically ice cream for breakfast. When your kids help with the preparation of food, making food and serving it themselves, they're often more likely to eat it. And this also really helps them to feel like they're important and, you know, they're contributing to the family. They're so more likely to the eat it. Well, I mean... 
you wouldn't have to do all this shit if the if the food was actually good and nutritionally dense. They would be eating it. To help me with uh, making their food and serving themselves as well. Basically, ice cream. <laughs> Holy shit, ice cream and fiber. Jesus Christ. So what they have for lunch? For lunch, they wanted a green smoothie. So I made it with organic frozen wild blueberries, papaya, cucumber, mango. Oh my God. Celery. Smoothie after smoothie. I think I would go insane if I was her child. Barley grass, juice powder and hemp seeds. What kind of fucking diet is smoothies? We did not evolve eating smoothies yeah I gotta chuck in all those the daily vitamin supplements because you know it's such a nutritionally dense diet that we we need to add in all all these extra vitamins <laughs> just the fucking stupid diet and then on the side they had some unsalted brown rice crackers which I found at Thrive and they just had that with some hummus and tomato slices. Yeah, more carbs. Just carbs, carbs, carbs. No, no fats. Apart, I guess, from that uh, coconut milk that she put in at the at the start. But I, I wouldn't say that's prop fat. Uh, and then... Because coconut oil and uh, coconut fat is not the best thing to be consuming. And no protein. And a lot of vegans will like to say, oh, we don't need, we don't need protein, all this stuff. Sure. Um, however, it's good to incorporate quite a, a, a decent amount of protein to keep yourself saturated and full. For dinner, we are making sushi. More carbs. Holy so shit. So, I found both the sushi rice and the nori on Thrive Market. So, you'll need to start with two cups of rice rinsed really, really Jesus well. Jesus Christ. Can you imagine how bloated these kids are? Like, it's just... This is child abuse. It's like feeding your kid only... Only, I don't know, grass. <laughs> it's like, fucking hell. This... Then add that to a pot with two cups of water. Even a dog eats better than this. Turn heat to high, cover and bring to a boil. Once it's boiling, you want to turn the heat down to low and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Spill Don't it take all the over lid the off stove. or stir. Then you want to remove it from the heat and let it sit for 10 minutes. Then transfer it to a glass bowl and set it aside until it's room temperature. Then to assemble... And uh, white rice completely spikes the fuck out of your blood sugar. I mean, that's why pro cyclists, when they're racing, they're eating uh, white rice cakes. Your sushi. Full of just carbs, just to kick your, your blood back up when you're starting to... Uh, your blood sugar back up when you're starting to lose it in a race or something. A lot of athletes uh, love to consume this while they're competing. I don't know what these girls are competing in, but yeah, she looks... Like she's fucking bloated. So there's really no limit to what you can put inside your sushi. Um, the girls just wanted cucumber and avocado this time. Uh oh, fuck. I remember when I was uh, vegan, I was eating cucumber and avocado sushis. They were the worst. The cucumber was just... It was the most boring thing. It was just like eating... It felt like I was just eating rice and cucumbers. Like it was the worst... Um, but I actually ended up adding some tofu a little later on as well. So you just want to put a really thin layer of rice over the... Now, I'm going to assume the mother's at least giving them supplements because if they're eating this type of food every day, 
or similar types. I mean, they, they will get deficient real quick. Nori, and uh, you want to flatten that all out, leaving around one centimetre or a quarter of an inch of seaweed at the end. And then you want to roll it up with a it's sushi really mat, or you can also use a tea towel. Now, if these girls are consuming a diet like this, high carb, low fat, and they, they start to hit puberty, what is going to happen to them? I mean... This is not a healthy thing to, to put your kids through. It's, it really is child abuse. Then I slice the rolls up and serve them with yeah, watered down low sodium tamari, which is just wheat free soy sauce. So Caprice loved them. She absolutely loved sushi. Haven refused to eat them and just wanted to dip her fingers in the tamari which we then took away from Obviously, because it's fucking shit. That's why she doesn't like it. Her and tried to give her something else. To you go to a sushi sushi bar uh, at the end of the day when when uh, all, their, all their stuff is kind of sold off, you'll see the, the remaining sushi is always avocado and uh, cucumber. Eat instead. Thanks for watching this video. There's no fucking nutrients. I mean, you could say, oh, the avocado, but... I mean, they're consuming barely anything there. I mean, white rice and cucumbers. The, the complete shit. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this. Yeah, so again, I hope I hope this uh, woman is still not doing this. It's This was filmed in 2017. I hope she's at least changed a bit. Um, and secondly... I mean, I don't want to give her shit. She's probably... I was on the same path as her. I, I thought, you know, being uh, not raw vegan, but vegan was great. And, uh, you know, I thought it would work out for kids at one stage. But I was wrong. And um, I don't think she has bad intentions. I just think she's not educated in uh, when it comes to nutrition. Not that I'm the most educated, but definitely if I can see something wrong with just feeding your kids carbs. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day.